Hi, this is Ben, and you're listening to another weekday scripture highlight from the Hope in Christ podcast. Have you ever wondered what kingdom of heaven you would inherit after the resurrection? Perhaps at some point in our lives, each one of us might wonder about the answer to that question. Perhaps even with some anxious anticipation to be received into the celestial kingdom. As Latter-day Saints, there is likely inside each of us a longing for exaltation or eternal life. We love Heavenly Father, and we love our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. We feel a godlike desire to perpetuate our family relationships into eternity. And we may feel like Moroni when he said, Wherefore, whoso believeth in God might with surety hope for a better world, yea, even a place at the right hand of God. Moroni continued, saying that hope for eternal life cometh of faith, and maketh an anchor to the souls of men, which would make them sure and steadfast, always abounding in good works, being led to glorify God. As we each increasingly identify as Israel, in other words, as we truly let God prevail in our lives, part of our nature begins to reflect His nature we find ourselves becoming less and less amused with the pretentious glitter and trends of the world. And we find that our soul longs to be received back home to God. We long for His Spirit. We long for His presence. As the psalmist wrote, we long to be led into the land of uprightness. Listen and see if you can relate to these beautiful words from Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee, as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth, hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. As we intentionally prepare to partake of the sacrament throughout each week, and as we participate in the sacred ordinances of the priesthood, we increasingly obey the priesthood injunction that was declared to us the day we were confirmed members of the church. We increasingly receive the Holy Ghost. And its power upon our hearts progressively enacts a change in our nature. As we become changed by the Spirit, we receive greater portions of the Savior's holiness. We start to become like Him. And when that happens, we find ourselves doing and saying and wanting the same things He did. In essence, we find ourselves pleading with the Lord to lead us into eternal life. Listen to the meaningful words of the hymn, Lead Me Into Life Eternal. Lead me into life eternal by the gospel's holy call. Let thy promise rest upon me. Grant me ready strength for all. Father, all my heart I give thee. All my service shall be thine. Guide me as I search in weakness. Let thy loving light be mine. Hear me as I pray in meekness. Let my strength be as thy day. Give me faith, the greater knowledge. Father, bless me as I pray. Holy call, let thy promise.
I hope you felt uplifted and inspired by this scripture and sacred music highlight, springing from our study of the Old Testament book of Psalms. The music recording from today's episode comes from the Gospel Media Library in the collection called Songs of Devotion. Coming up tomorrow is another highlight focused on our Savior Jesus Christ. My prayer today is that as you continue to pray to the Lord in meekness, He will give you greater faith and hope in Him. Have an excellent day.